taking place at the world headquarters garden of love here in elisha this invitation is out to all youth pastors all executive of women of virtue fellowship all location ministers all pastors with membership and all pastors and they should come with their membership list i hope we are here with our membership list and all pastors also should come with our account reports for 2018 and all ministers in all victory chapel locations in case you are a location minister you are yet to be an ordained pastor you are expected to be here so on behalf of the overseer all these people you are all welcomed in jesus name and particularly i want to appreciate all our pastors and location ministers from directors senior ministers zona ministers assistant zona location ministers i want to appreciate all of us for taking care of all the church members and particularly the women the youths and the children let's clap for our pastors in appreciation thank you on behalf of the overseer i'm thanking all of us praise the lord but today i want to specially welcome all executive coordinators and coordinators zona executive coordinators senior executive coordinators and supervisors of the women of virtue fellowship international located in all victory chapel locations worldwide if my welcome is directed to you i want you to please honorably stand up as i welcome you formally to this meeting shall we just rise up on our feet all women representing your zone representing your location please let's clap for them we appreciate you we are grateful to see you this is a new year and i believe god is starting something new in our midst and definitely we will keep riding higher in jesus name welcome i'm very very glad to see you you can please take your honorable seats in the name of the lord praise the lord i want to personally thank you my precious women and tell you well done for all your efforts and labors in taking care of other women at your locations and also the youths and the children and especially our contributions and support for the children church in all our locations i pray god will continue to strengthen your hands in jesus name no matter what you may be going through as a challenge as a need i want to bring you good news from this meeting you will go back with corporate commensurate grace and anointing to overcome and to triumph in jesus name praise the lord thank you for all the support you are specially invited for this meeting number one to show appreciation for all of your labors and efforts and sacrifices in working along with our pastors to make sure things work at your locations and secondly you are also invited here to be envisioned towards our forthcoming women's convention in the month of february at our zonal headquarters praise the lord and this is important because of the shortness of time and especially because many of us might have forgotten the sequence in which the meetings take place so you might have been wondering whose turn is it in 2019 so by the time it came up that uh, it is the women some of us needed to be helped to be able to focus and to build this convention to be the way we really want it to be praise the lord and it is also very important because it's going to be the convention before our global women convention praise the lord so this is to prepare us to mobilize us 
because as the Lord liveth, as his soul liveth, by the grace of God, we will have been ten times more than this. Our influence will have increased all over the world. And come October 2020, we will be gathering the whole world to this garden of love. Let's give a clap offering to Jesus because you will be alive, I will be alive. We will be strong, we will be anointed to minister and to reach out to all the world. We will be having our first ever women convention. So the one you are going to have this February at your zonal level is going to be a foundation upon which we want to build that global world women convention. Praise the Lord. So that's why it's all important because it is double-edged. It is first of all to reach out in our zone, in our locality, in our area and also to build a strong foundation to mobilize women from all over the world to be at our forthcoming women convention praise the lord and for this year i want to appreciate all our men just like i've told us all our pastors you are the ones going to still supervise what is happening during the women convention praise the lord i'm going to be working with us through our women that's why we have invited every one of us to be here please let's be attentive and listen and work together what i've been able to do ahead for all of us is to get us suggested topics praise the lord suggested topics for this women convention for the month of february 2019 the convention comes up 21st to the 23rd and the theme is lasting beauty that is beauty that is durable that is forever that cannot be mad or spoiled and i pray that will be our portion in jesus name and i want you to consider exodus 28 verse 2 as a text we can consider for this theme of lasting beauty and that is talking about the clothing of Aaron the priest because all of us would belong to the priest's family we are kings and priests and our clothing should be holy it should be beautiful and it should be with glory and I pray that will be our portion in Jesus name so I've come up with some topics we can consider during this convention and I have some copies here I'm going to give to our senior executive coordinators who will go back to their base and spread to all of us praise the lord but for our information we can take some of those topics down in writing i expect us to have a jotters papers biro and take some information and all our daddies too we will love you to look through this and even one of the topics should be taken by the zona or senior executive coordinator the most senior pastor at base as a man to reach out to us during this convention the topics are this number one woman god's symbol of beauty two differences between lasting beauty and temporal beauty number one woman god's symbol of beauty number two differences between lasting beauty and temporal beauty these are topics for messages during this convention number three relationship between inner beauty and outer beauty number four beautiful hearts and beautiful homes number five practical tips to stay fresh and beautiful number six god is beautiful for every situation or oh, god is beautiful for my situation that's an outreach topic to minister healing deliverance holy spirit baptism and reach out to the needs of men whatever may be their challenges number seven physically and spiritually beautiful clothes you know number eight ingredients of divine beauty number nine 
beautiful feet by preaching the gospel these are possible topics we should consider as messages during this retreat and um, this women convention 21st to 23rd of february 2019 and like i said if you make it 20 20 minutes 10 10 minutes and you get capable hands you can take most of the topics but there are two or three that are almost compulsory number one woman god's symbol of beauty why because it has to do with our creation and once or twice you might have had me teach about those values and qualities in women that really makes us beautiful number two num that's the number nine topic beautiful feet by preaching the gospel because this year we are doing victory street invasion and the best way to be beautiful is to be great preachers so you can add from the remaining seven to these two topics number one and number nine praise the lord secondly we are also encouraged during this convention to have practical sessions in workshops it doesn't have to take time just make sure you get someone that can handle it well it's good to have workshops anytime you have to do meetings for women and the advantage in workshops is they are practical sessions and i have some topics here for our workshop because we are talking about beauty so our workshops should be a beauty treatment workshop and some of the topics for the workshops are beauty treatment by hairstyle and hairdos you know how do you beautify yourself because the bible talks about it in the book of you know peter talks about it in titus beauty treatment by hairstyle and hairdo get someone that can teach us practically and train the women how to take care of their hair in such a way that the husband will be happy they too will be happy and their joy will be full and their beauty will be sustained beauty treatment by pedicure and manicure you know it's part of our instrument of beauty how do you take care of your hand your nails your feet number three beauty treatment by makeups for face lifts what do you do how far do you go as a woman in exodus 28 2 who wants to be a priest and who wants to be holy who wants to be beautiful and who wants to carry god's glory number four beauty treatment by ornaments and jewels you know it's one of those practical ways to beautify ourselves so somebody can teach us these are to match colors this is the kind of ornaments you know that's good for you if you are dark complexion if you are light complexion if you like to wear it heavy or light or this or that i mean something practical that makes us dress the kind of makeups that is good for our color for our stature for our this for our that those are beauty treatments but done in god's way also we are expected in our normal monthly meetings before to have women tips you know and during our women tips we learn practical things on cooking on how to tie our gele you know on how to match our colors on how to do some other things i won't tell you all of it praise the lord i just told you the physical ones but most times when we do our women meetings we are always encouraged to also add the practical pet to it we call it women tips so for this convention our women tips will be directed in this way number one beautiful food and healthy diets praise the lord there will be a, a, a women tip session that one always takes like five ten minutes we teach ourselves so women we should prepare how to beautify our meal for our husbands for our children and how to give them healthy diets by their age by their post disposition 
by their leadership positions you know we can get someone that will teach us within this during this convention also we have women tips topic like beautiful living rooms and bedrooms you know it can add greater beauty to our lives when our living rooms are more beautiful it's more attractive for our husbands to come home more pleasurable for the children beautiful bedrooms you know changing our beddings on time taking care of the environment women tips three beautiful kitchen and environment you know we can learn how to arrange things like on the issue of beautiful living rooms and bedrooms several times i take time anytime i visit most of our women especially those of us that have our children and are still very young you begin to wonder how can you keep this place tidy every day they will litter the place they will throw you here they will throw you know you know there are some i have to practically teach how to go about it you may need some big containers you know some of us that had privilege of god and grace so i've traveled i used to wonder ah, why are all these cities and these big nations i mean advanced nations everywhere is so neat it's so orderly why because they have so many containers you may get to the house so many wardrobes so many lockers so many drawers so many this is when you open you will find out what is there praise the lord but the whole place is so beautiful so i teach mothers i teach parents abby my witnesses we will keep boxes keep containers so all the books instead of allowing them to litter it everywhere keep a box they can put put all their books everybody is looking for book check in that container because when you travel you will just see open one wardrobe everything inside is all shoes it's all children trainers it's all socks everything but the fact that it is closed up the whole place is very beautiful so we are going to learn practical ways of keeping our homes our bedrooms also we have beautiful kitchen and environment and i said beautiful bathrooms and toilets you know in our homes because this is the real place of beauty if we dress so well and everybody's attractive and attra you know is drawn to us and by the time they say let me follow you to the house and they can't you we feel uncomfortable to bring them into our living rooms is not beauty enough these are the practical topics and the workshops and the main messages by the grace of god i want us to consider our main zona executive uh, zonal pastors who look through it with us and with the women next school and all of us together will arrive at how to go about it and also because of time because of the uniqueness of our zones i know some of us we have a three-day program some may compress it to two maybe a night video it also falls within our last friday of the month video so it depends on how the zona minister decides to arrange it but if it's a it's a night video then it means you are going to have like two days meeting incorporated into the night video praise the lord initially i wanted to draw out a, a program flow for us but when i saw the peculiarity of our zones that in some of the zones the locations are very far so the zona minister and the zona executive coordinator and their ex code that will agree how they want to do it but the meeting is thursday friday and saturday and the way we planned it is that if you are going to have a thursday meeting i just gave that one it is advisable you have an opening prayer you have praise worship you have welcoming you have your women of virtue and then then because the zona convention we also encourage a chapel parade to be sure there are women in every chapel so you have a, your chapel parade women from each chapel location then you can have your women tip you can have a special number from any of the women or any special music person in within the church you can have your offering then you can have the women choir you can have your main message that's for the first day and all our meetings we are encouraged to make it very short because it's prayer and fasting time don't let it drag into the night if it's going to have a day meeting praise the lord and friday can just be repeated so that instead of the parade on friday since you have had parade on thursday on friday you just 
do one of your workshops or and add also another women tip and the second message but if it's going to be a video you are going to run like thursday friday and then part of saturday in the video because an all night meeting and the next meeting you just have on saturday could be from three or from two and then you round up before 6 p.m praise the lord i also want to encourage us as much as is possible we can make provisions for water and maybe a little refreshment after the meeting because it's a women's meeting and most of the time don't leave it to us alone praise the lord that's even the encouragement i want to give us that's why our zona ministers should always be with us all our pastors in the zone should be there with their wives and all the women from all the locations and also open it up for our youths our young girls our young boys all our children let the convention be a time of feeding in the family and let all of us learn together what makes for true and lasting beauty so that we can set our visions in the standard of god praise the lord our text for the year all of us know our book of the year is all around beauty praise the lord and it's for the year for the entire victory family but for all of us women that are here all senior executive coordinators all supervisors every one of us if you are here today you need a copy of this book because you must read it and finish reading it before the convention praise the lord and for your information i believe in leadership by example i made sure before coming to this meeting i have read it not only have i read it i have marked it with red by row. praise the lord special areas not only did i mark it i did a summary in a jotter so if you pinch me now and ask me what is here i can tell you praise the lord do you know why we need it as a resource material for the convention and i want to encourage you i know inside of all of us god has packaged treasures so as you read this book written by a father and the lord the lord bishop mike bamidele and you apply it to this topic any topic you are given to handle during this women's convention you will be capable to handle it and you will add the things that god has taught you also praise the lord so it's like it's compulsory for us to get i've discussed with our sister in the office all of us i'm sure we can get copies before you go i bought mine again i'm sure i have some copies in my library but i bought a new one in preparation for this convention for 300 naira only initially i wanted to tell you bring some money to buy buko before you go praise the lord but i said ah the daddies are here and all of you too you are even more than that praise the lord buy for yourself buy for people in your church and please read it and after reading any topic you are given whether among the messages or among the you know the women tips or among the wash workshops you'll be able to handle it and where you even need a resource person get somebody that can also put you through but you as a leader in the women's fellowship we want you to impart other women and as we are doing this our lives will be enriched and god will continue to use us as a channel of blessing to others in jesus name so i welcome you in the name of the lord this time i want to give out the program to those senior executive coordinators as many of us as are here we can just come forward and get a copy each senior executive coordinators you will make sure you get everybody around you good to get copies just take your own and then you can give me the remaining those are the things i announced for you no it's, <laughs> it's good uh, okay <laughs> first are you you are breaking our order don't break our order she will get it she's in charge okay that's extra well done praise the lord okay thank you praise the lord she, why, uh, wonderful woman she tried to help me to make the program for the year but just between friday and now i came up with this for us praise the lord 
every woman you can have a copy these are programs for the year and the calendar for 2019 praise the lord <laughs> uh, okay thank you daddy you are welcome <laughs> oh darliness let's welcome our father and mentor with a clap offering to jesus and thank him for this opportunity yes for every woman here particularly and then those our zona executive coordinators can now collect for location executive coordinators that may not be here or they are women in school please distribute that it's on behalf of the overseer and myself we are welcoming us happy new year i'm sure our daddies are looking praise the lord you can put it in your car if you punch it you can put it as a bible divider it can serve many purposes for the sake of daddies here please give everybody in this pastor's meeting mommy just pass it pass it i'm sure it's useful for them you can use it to invite someone to our meeting we will appreciate it take one pass to the next person praise the lord praise the lord so on that we have our program for the year 2019 and we have a calendar and that program is very attractive very powerful it's a program you should be bold to invite other women to join you and be a part of the women's meeting every month i also want to use this time to encourage all our location ministers and zona executive coordinators and those are the ministers wives at zona level to please plan adequately for our monthly meetings it is our own avenue of reaching out don't do it anyhow don't do it wishy-washy the moment you finish one month's meeting begin to plan for the next one get your speakers from january to december from now sit down together get the speakers for the meeting as much as possible look inward if you have to invite anybody from outside get clearance from your zona executive coordinator or senior executive coordinator or even from me because we don't just invite somebody you don't know well to come and be talking to your women get clearance from our pastors they to know more about the people you may want to bring but we always prefer you to use people within they have something to offer relevant to that topic but the most important thing is prepare ahead invite the people ahead Ad advertise the meeting and as you do so new people will be attracted to be a part of our meetings in jesus name also i want to encourage us to make sure we register our names phone numbers and zone as we have indicated outside we are not doing our own attendance with the pastor's meeting so that they can always continue to get across to us on a more regular basis this year 2019 in jesus name thank you so much for all your labors and care over the women over the church and especially in the care of our pastors our daddies at the location and all escorts executive or women's fellowship that is here i also appreciate all of us for taking care of the women in your location and any development any matters that you have been seeing overseeing over their lives god will remember you and reward you abundantly in jesus name thank you for coming god bless you in jesus name Hello and good afternoon to everyone. I believe the first one and a half hours of this meeting has been enriching, full of prayers, and full of instruction and direction. 
My prayer is that the God who brought us to a new year will make all the meetings of this year full of power. At the end of every meeting, you will go home refreshed, anointed, empowered. At the end of every pastor's meeting, your ministerial life will move to a new phase. If you came in pastor of 10, you will be moving to pastor of 100. If you came in pastor of 100, you'll be moving to pastor of thousands in the mighty name of Jesus. In our personal lives as workers in the house of God, if you also are facing a challenge, personal and private, God who sees those secret challenges will give you open victories. Somebody who will live a victorious life, say, say a loud amen. amen. Uh, I want to congratulate every one of us on the fast that is going on for the spiritual processing. I was teaching in church this morning. Uh, part of it was on they can't allow you to see me. That's why I was trying to adjust it. Because I see some people doing like this. We are hearing his voice. We are not seeing his face. Don't worry, I will stand. I'm used to standing, but you are cheating me. You are sitting down. <laughs> you see, one of the reasons why I stand is so that you can see me. Because I saw some people doing like this. I saw some people doing like this. I say, ah, why stress them? Let me stand. But during fast like this also, all of us should be standing so that I can do that of tomorrow. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Um, or just stagger it for the sake of um, another service tomorrow and another service in the afternoon, another one in the evening, another one in another place. Praise God. <clears throat> I was saying that um, in church this morning, I was explaining that fasting is a refinery of the power that you receive. When you get born again, and when you get filled with the Holy Spirit, there are seasons of empowerment. John 1, 12, and you shall receive power. Is that not so? As many as received him, he gave them what? Power. John 1, 12. As many as received him, he gave them what? Power. So you have power. Now Acts 1, 8 also says, and ye shall receive power power. So a child of God is already empowered. Luke chapter 4 verse 1 said and Jesus full of the Holy Ghost. Full of the Holy Ghost. Now, and in Luke 4 14, it says and he returned in power. He was already full of the Holy Ghost. You are already empowered. Why, why don't we see that power in manifestation? It requires some refinery for daily use. For using your car. You can't put crude power inside your car. You can't put crude oil. So when it goes through a refinery, the diesel goes this way. The kerosene goes this way. The plastic goes this way. The petroleum jelly goes that way. And the PMS goes that way. Am I communicating with somebody? When you are full of the Holy Ghost and you go through fasting, what is required from the Holy Spirit it becomes available for use. Available for use. The power of God becomes available for practical use. If you need a counsel or a direction, now you are already filled with the Holy Spirit, but as you fast, you process counsel for the specific situation. So you hear the word, go this way. And if it's a revelation you need, you don't need, I mean, you are running a diesel engine, not a gas engine. So you process revelation, it comes for you. If it's an advice or counsel, you get counsel from the fast. Now, if it's a power act that you need to get something healed, somebody healed, or you need to move out a devil from where he's occupying, when you fast, the 
you have got power that can be practically used for demons to live. You remember in Mark chapter 9, verse 25, if that was where you preached from, he said, and the devil, he, he rebuked the evil spirit, and he told the evil spirit, enter him no more. Now, as soon as that was done, the boy fell down as if he was dead and all that. Then the, the, everybody went. Then Jesus got to the house. Then the disciples got to the house. And they said, Master, why could we not cast it out? We tried to. When the three of you and uh, the master went, the nine of us that were, we tried to. We cast out, but we could not. We tried, but the devil did not go. So what happened? I thought a lot of things about that this morning. Now, and the master answered them. He said, this is not an engine that can be powered with 1 kV. I passed my neighbor. This one is not a kerosene mechanism. You need diesel. This one, you need PMS. So you have to go to the refinery. This can go ahead not out. But by prayer and fasting, you have the crude knowledge that you are above devils, but you don't have the refined power to practically use the power can be with you. Jesus can be with you like this. If you don't know how Jesus is made to work for somebody, he will just be there with you. Let me explain. You may have crude oil in Nigeria and still be suffering from lack of fuel. Why? And still be importing as we are still doing. Why? What's your problem? So you can be a Christian that is powerless without regular fasting. So you will be importing other deliverance minister, other prophet, other church to come and pray for you. Because you did not process what you have. It's my way of welcoming you that we are in a serious season. We are in a refinery program. You will get the diesel, you get the PMS, you get the petroleum jelly, you get the plastic, you get all that you need. And I want to appreciate our ministers who have taken time to lead us in prayer this afternoon. And those prayers are the processing power. I'm, I also acknowledge the fact that many of us have been welcome and we, we have taken some matters arising. And mommy has looked at our instruction for women and especially for the women's convention. So let me welcome the ladies who don't normally attend the meeting but who attended today. Uh, welcome. Welcome. Help me welcome them by your side. Welcome yourself. Now, you are expected to be at pastor's meeting if you are a wife of the pastor and if you are also a pastor every month. However, the venue is different. That's all. You are expected to be at pastor's meeting as we are here every month. That's the instruction I had given. And I've given that instruction since this church had been existing. But I discovered that you don't meet. So I want to start on that note that this meeting is not particularly unique. It's supposed to be statutory. But if it is very unique to you, we thank God 2019 is a unique year. And so throughout the year you will be meeting. And you have been given what to do when you meet and the duration of your meeting. The content of your meeting is as follows. One, pray for your husband and your children when you meet. Minimum of four of you. At the same time that this meeting is holding or at an arranged time. But every time pastor's meeting is holding, pastor's wives who are not physically here are also holding a meeting. The reason for excusing you to stay at home is for children 
and for your husband to eat when he returns and for you to prepare for the following day and in Nigeria sometimes for distance and transportation some of us have toddlers but the age of the pastors here now that excuse seems no longer no longer tenable because many of you are grandmothers and many of you have the children in the university already and it is a lie to say that Unto Duomanle is it has become a lie. It has become a lie. So I am likely going to review that for some categories of people. Please let's take note. You are to pray for your husband, you are to pray for your children. You are to pray for your zonal programs. You are to pray for your zonal programs. The next one is the women's convention. The zonal retreat. Zonal contribution to convention. You are to pray for things assigned to the zone. And to be, to be carrying it in prayers. Number three. You are to pray for the world convention. Throughout the year. Women praying. These are specific goals. I'm not sure any of our senior ministers has taken time to repeat them. Or zonal ministers or location ministers. That's where we lose team. That's where we lose vision. Because we don't repeat them. Take a little bit of time to repeat them like I'm trying to do. You don't have to spend hours on them. Just, and you don't have to be comprehensive. I have to be comprehensive so that you can find somewhere to be drawing from. Alright? If I'm brief, you will think that that is all. I mentioned number what? I want to be sure you are there. Number three. I say you pray for the what? World Convention. I think that's number four. Number one is pray for yourself by yourself. Number one is pray for yourself before you pray for your husband. And before, you must be well before you pray for any husband. Pray for yourself, your role as a minister's wife. Pray for yourself, yourself, your health, your work, your exam. For those of you who still have them, pray for yourself. It may be one prayer point for self, one for family, one for zonal program, one for world convention. That's number four, is it? Number five, you were assigned the Victory Life Comprehensive College. And the prayer point specifically was that it shall be a school that has high enrollment and a, a, a school that imparts skill and the knowledge of God. Those were the points. And it's for every pastor's meeting. And then we said any latest thing that was upcoming, that is current issues that require specific praying. It could be a need, it could be a, 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 a joint program, but current, something going on. Like uh, Buari has appointed a new CJN, and some people say he shouldn't have appointed, that he doesn't have constitutional power to do that. Um, that you shouldn't have two sitting CJNs, that there's nowhere in the Constitution that that is uh, allowed. And he said, ah, it's because of the problem that is taking place now. The man is a thief. Let us try to solve it in this way. He may be right, he may be wrong, but they are talking about the books. That in the books, there is nowhere they suspend CJN and have another CJN. So you can't have two CJN at the same time. Now, whether the books say so or not, I don't know. Those who are learned, they will be going to read the books. We who are in, in training, amen. We are in training. Amen. We will, we will know the truth. Praise God. So there are matters of importance, matters of urgency, and then that one also takes one. Your meeting is to last, I think, a maximum of ninety minutes. Max of ninety minutes, preferably one hour. And then the reason why we said that 